Ladies, let's talk about this image. Kelly Wallace, first to you. Uh, what, what's wrong with this? Well, it's interesting. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with it, actually. I kind of embrace, you know, smart women that can be beautiful and sexy and all things. Uh, so I sort of am on the side of that debate. But as I was doing a story yesterday talking to a lot of women, there are women who feel that way. But there are other women who feel, you know, this is not appropriate and not an appropriate pose for a female CEO, that it sets women back in time. And, uh, and then there was also a lot of discussion, Brooke, about a double standard. Mm -hmm. Would a men's magazine ever ask a male CEO to strike such a pose? And would a male CEO do that? Whereas a woman's magazine and a woman's CEO might go ahead and do this very same thing. So a lot of debate for sure. Yeah, about I, wanna, this one. I wanna get to the double standard. And I wanna get to the fact that we're even having this debate in 2013 in a hot second. But Grace, you know, let me, you're, you're a big VP of, of a company. If, if, you know, Anna Winter comes to you and says, we think you're <laughs> smart and powerful and sexy. If you have a smart Smart, you know, uh, business dress, photo shoot, the whole deal. <laughs> I see you shaking your head. Well, would you do it? No? Yes? Well, first of all, I want to say that these pictures are beautiful and stunning. And as a new mother myself, I really admire how Marissa can lose all that baby weight in no time. <laughs> she looks good. These are beautiful, beautiful pictures. It is just that if it's given a personal choice, um, I probably would not take that picture if I were so lucky to be approached by Vogue. And why not? Well, because um, my personal opinion is that I would like people to focus on my work as a professional rather than trying to blend in my professional image with an overly feminine image. Case in point, for instance, when I was looking at this picture, they are very beautiful. But um, I've seen the picture at least five, six times by now. But it was only the last time when I noticed that Marissa had an iPad in her hand. Uh, instead, you were focused on maybe the pose, the dress, the hair. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly, you talk to a lot Very of people. Beautiful. Are many people in Grace's camp um, and agree that, that, I mean, at the same time, your piece points out, look, this isn't Playboy. I mean, it's not that suggestive. What do people tell you? Exactly. And I like hearing from people like yeah. Grace, who are female executives, yeah. who are, you know, in that same boat. So you have some women who agree with Grace. You have other women, another CEO who said, oh, come on. Why do you have to put your personal, you know, in enjoyments to the side? If you like fashion, if you like the way you dress, if you want to look good, why do you have to sort of put that to the side and be in a business suit and, and, and dress like a man? Why can't we celebrate a woman? Why isn't femininity something that we really treasure? So you really get that disagreement, Brooke.